What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we're going to be checking out the Graco True Coat 360DS. This is a true airless paint sprayer. This is the brand that's preferred by the pros, as they say here. So I ended up picking up the DS model. It's a dual speed model, so there's only two speeds. They do have a variable speed model as well, but I believe it was like 80 bucks more. So I decided to spend a little bit less and just get the two speeds. If I was going to do this for a profession or if I was going to do this more often than maybe once a month or so, I figured I'd probably go with the VSP, but instead the dual speed is gonna be just fine for what I'm using it for. So you can pick this up for about 170 bucks. I'll throw a link in the description below so you can check out yourself, as well as the variable speed one. I think that variable speed one's 260, 270, something like that. Uh, they also have different size cups here. They're the liners. And I believe the variable speed one comes with a bigger cup. So it, allows you to spray more paint or more capacity but there are replacement liners that you can purchase so that way you don't have to clean those out all the time so there are a few reasons why we purchased this one of the biggest ones was i wanted a paint sprayer that i didn't have to thin the paint to make it be able to be sprayed i also didn't want to have to hook it up to an air compressor uh, this one's electric it plugs into the wall they have battery operated ones or a one with the battery option but I ended up going with the one that you plug into the wall because it's a little bit cheaper. Another big reason is my wife likes to refinish furniture and I just figured it'd be easier for her and make it look a lot neater if she used this to spray the paint on instead of using a paintbrush or a roller. That's just my preference and I figured it'd be a lot easier to use this. As you can see here, it says it's up to 10 times faster than painting with a brush, four times faster than painting with a roller, and then two times faster than painting with an HVLP. So a few things about this, they say it's the fastest, smoothest handheld paint finisher. No need to thin the paint, which was the biggest, one of the biggest reasons we got this. Easy to use and easy to clean, which is really nice. We'll see how easy it is to actually clean it. Uh, then this one has two speeds versus they have a variable speed one. So as you can see over here, it says it can uh, paint up to 12 gallons per hour. The coverage is usually one pass. They say the finished quality is the smoothest, most consistent coverage possible. Well, not possible, but that's what they say. No thinning needed, so you don't need to deal with thinning the paint. And this is an all-in-one paint stain sprayer. So you can use this to stain your deck or anything else as well. If you wanted to paint or stain, it's up to you. It does come with a 32 ounce cup. I know the variable spray one comes with a 42 or 48. I can't remember which one it is, but it's a little bit larger. So in the box, they do have two spray tips. One is, a, it's a 12 inch wide one, and then one's a more narrow with a four inch. They have four flex liner paint bags for you already, and then a quick start guide. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what you get in the box. So right off the bat, you get a pretty thick user manual or owner's manual. You get a little caution sticker or caution piece of paper here. They just don't want you to spray directly on your hand, it looks like. And then it looks like you have a little warranty manual to fill out. So they have multiple models here. They have the regular 360, the dual speed, DSP, variable speed. I'm not sure what the DSP, dual speed something. I don't know. Let's look it up. But they have quite a few different models. So here it is. It's actually pretty decent size. The weight of it's not too bad. They do have the spare nozzle down here. So this is the four inch nozzle. They already have the 12 inch one in here. They have a prime and spray position here. The cup goes down here at the bottom. Pretty easy to pull trigger. So that's nice. And then you have about a two foot, maybe a foot and a half cable here. So you'll need an extension cable and then you have the two speeds here. You got high there and then low. So you got your dual speeds here. Then you have four liners here for the 32 ounce cup. So then you have the cup with the liner. So the liner just goes in there and then you put the top on and then the top goes into the machine or the sprayer. And then you have the prime, then you have the prime area right here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill this up with the paint up to the top or there's a little fill line and then you're gonna get this connected to the sprayer and then you're gonna squeeze the bag when it's in prime with this open until you see a little bit of paint right here. And then that'll allow it to get to where the paint nozzle is. And then once you get it primed, you're ready to go paint. Then when you get done, you just take the bag liner out and you can throw it away or you can even clean it. Uh, they give you three, well, four, sorry. So 
I think the replacement ones, they're not too bad priced. I think it's about a buck or two per liner. They do have a line here. So I don't know if you can see that, it's blue line. So then you got the blue arrow here. When you tighten this up, they want you to be within this range right here. So that way you know it's tight. I just, I just noticed this. The nozzles up here, I thought it was in here for some reason. So they allow you to spray and then you can reverse this to unclog it. So if it gets clogged up, you can reverse it to get it unclogged. One of the biggest reasons I got this out is we have a project to do and we're gonna paint some boards or paint some wood for some shelves. So we're gonna go ahead and get this going and show you how well it does. So first you're gonna pour in your paint to the top. And then what you're gonna do is release the top here and squeeze all the air out of there. You're gonna turn this to prime from spray and hold the trigger down for about five seconds. And then you're gonna release any more air that's left over in there. And then switch it to spray and you're ready to go. So there are a few things. It sprays pretty quick and it covers pretty quick. So just the tops of these two by sixes, it used pretty much all the paint that was in there. So about 32 ounces of paint gone really quickly. So that gives you kind of an idea of how much paint it uses, but it did cover pretty well. And also another thing is it works a lot better when it's um, upright, when you're painting upright versus painting downward most likely the way it's set up. But other than that, it worked out really well. So it covered pretty well, I feel like. It does spray pretty quick, so you gotta be on the move or else it'll run. Now, I will say that I was wrong. Remember when we painted half the side of the three of there? Um, we were not out of paint. We were actually able to paint three of them fully just with one 32 ounce canister of paint. That was a big bee that just flew on by me. I really enjoyed spraying these down with paint, with this paint sprayer. Again, I will link it in the description below so you can check it out yourself and current pricing if it's changed. Also, I'll leave the, the little uh, replacement cups so that way you can check those out too. If this video helped you out in any way, leave a like. If you have any questions, comments, or opinions, go ahead and put it in the comment section below. If this is your first time to my channel, please consider subscribing and I will see you next time.